meteorologist Jay Martin. Again, talking about those windier conditions that we saw across the Concho Valley, that was out ahead of the front, those little southerly winds moving, but we can start to see that front in the Texas Panhandle up towards Oklahoma right there, kind of passing through Amarillo. As we look at the temperatures, you'll really, really see where the front stands out right here along the leading edge of those cooler temperatures. That's what's gonna be working its way towards our area, and we saw that precip that was building along it. That's gonna be bringing us our rain chances as we go into the overnight hours. Right now, still clear skies and a pretty warm 72 degrees right now in downtown San Angelo but those southerly winds 13 miles per hour not nearly as breezy as what they were earlier this afternoon we'll see those winds start to taper off a little bit before they turn out of the north again upper 60s for much of the area 67 in Brady 68 in Menard 70 in Junction 72 here in San Angelo so again we'll see these temperatures really dropping off as we go through the overnight hours and into tomorrow as that front really pushes through and brings us much cooler air rain chances for tonight only about 20 percent maybe an isolated shower or two but we will see that increasing cloud coverage and those temperatures will be a little bit lower getting into the mid 40s 45 your overnight low and then we'll start to see those winds turn out of the north as that front moves through and that means tomorrow much cooler only getting into the lower 40s we'll actually have our high early in the morning and we'll continue to drop those temperatures throughout the day with those isolated sh rain showers and maybe even an isolated thunderstorm or two turning to snow as we get into the later parts of the day tomorrow that's when we'll start to see again still 80 percent chance of the scoured rain showers and those northerly winds with gusts up to 30 miles per hour at times we saw those gustier winds today again gust at well over 40 for some of the places and again looking at it we'll continue to see those winds diminish as we go through the overnight hours but as that front moves through in tomorrow we'll see the winds turning out of the north and still again being very breezy as we go through thursday as well so again, uh, just looking at, again, our temperatures, when we, that front comes through, that'll be bringing us down to, again, close to the freezing mark uh, for Wednesday. And then as we get right at the freezing mark later and into Thursday, that's when we'll see that rain transition to snow. And then how cold it gets exactly will determine who gets how much snow, basically. And right now, it looks like most of our western counties are going to be the better chances for the heavier snow, whereas places in the central Concho Valley, places like San Angelo, El Dorado, may just get an inch or two, and then we might miss out as far as the eastern counties go. So timing this all out, again, going through the day today, we'll see that front start to move into the area early Wednesday morning, mostly a rain event for much of the day. Overnight Wednesday going into Thursday, we'll start to see that transition into snow, mostly for our western counties early. Then it transitions to snow for much of the area. And again, a snow for, uh, again, Thursday before everything starts to clear out heading into Friday. So again, just want to put a kind of a reminder with what the snow totals that we can expect. Again, the heaviest snow will be off towards our west, relatively uh, lighter for the central parts, and then much lighter again on the eastern counties. So again, the winter, winter weather reminders, you want to try to stay off the roads if you can, and if you have to be on the roads, and increase that falling distance, and then drive just a little bit slower, kind of be as safe as you can be on the roads, and still kind of reissuing that winter uh, weather watch stays in effect. So again, looking at the seven-day slippery conditions expected for uh, Wednesday. The snow mostly, mostly focused on Thursday, and then things will start to clear up as we head into 2021.